I've been using Lander Sampler for a few weeks now, and today we're gonna to talk about my five favorite features of Lander Sampler. Now, today's video is sponsored by Lander. If that's a total turn off for you, that's fine. Come back in the next video. But I wanna let you all know that I don't accept sponsorships until I've actually tried out the plugin and formed a semi-positive opinion on it. That's kind of why you see mostly positive stuff on this channel is because I'm not accepting partnerships from folks that are making stuff that I don't like or that I think you all will not like. This is not a review. I'm not here to tell you this is the best plugin ever made, but it does have some great features that I felt were worth sharing. So it's a partnership I'm happy to take. So even though this is a sponsored video, I hope you can take the information and what you see in this video for what it is. There's no trickery going on in here. I'm showing you five great things about this plugin, in my opinion, and Lander's not gonna see this video before I post it. First thing I wanna talk about is how fast you can instantly load up 88 of of your samples from Lander Sampler. So immediately when you load the plugin, it actually instantly loads 88 samples across an 88 key keyboard from your sample library. It's a bit random, but it could be a quick way to find some inspiration if you find a couple loops that work together. And if we click load samples again, it's going to actually fill the keyboard up with another random selection of samples from your library. This could be a good technique if you've got straight up writer's block, but if you know what you're looking for, you can go to advanced filters and we can start sorting. So let's sort by one shots. Let's look specifically for percussion. And you can see that we've narrowed it down to about 1,200 samples. And we're gonna load those samples across the keyboard or at least 88 of them from my library. So now I've got all my percussion samples. This is going to really speed up your workflow because instead of going into your browser and searching by one shot kicks and just going sample by sample, you instead can just instantly load up on your MIDI controller a bunch of kicks and audition them in your track in real time. So you know exactly how they're gonna sound in your track. This works with any kind of sample. To me, it's a much faster way of finding what you're looking for and being able to play it in your DAW. All right, now let's talk about using the sequencer to make your own loops. Now, aside from just finding some samples that you like, we can also sequence them right in Lander Sampler. So let's take this rim shot and let's sequence it across this timeline. This will also sync to our DAWs clock if we just enable sync right here. So that's sequencer lane one, but we actually have four sequencer lanes. So let's drop another note in here. Let's increase the length of that note. And there's also a dedicated kick lane. So if you just need a sense of tempo or beat, you can go ahead. And add that in there. So let's fill up the next two lanes with some more perk sounds and work on this loop. If I hold command, I can adjust the velocity for just these C2 notes. So now that we've got this loop with four different layers, we can really easily export it. If I go to export, there's gonna be a few different options for us. Let's try just clicking and dragging a full mix of this loop out into the DAW. And there you go, we've got the full percussion loop here. But even more useful, we can separate all those layers and when I click and drag this out into Ableton Live, we're gonna get all four samples, and if I hold Command, I can stack those samples. So each individual part is pulled from that sequencer loop. There is also an option to pull out MIDI, individual parts or a mix, whatever you want. One last thing I love about this sequencer is that there is a generate function. Sometimes it can get a little crazy, like you can see it filled every step here. Doesn't sound that great, but we can include some space. And if we turn the space up, we get more gaps in our rhythm. And I can just click generate until I find something that I like. I kind of like all of those E0 hits. So if I double click them, I can lock them into place. And I'll even lock these notes in here too and let's generate a few more around those. And there's a couple over the top things in there, but I think if we just pull back some of it, it 
suddenly we've got something new and cool. Now you probably noticed that we could export dry or wet samples, and that's because there's FX baked into Lander Sampler, as well as some other sample editing features, which can help you take these samples and make them sound more unique, more your own, especially since somebody else could have downloaded the same sample and could be using it in their song too. We can change these effects for each individual sample, or we can dial in some main effects that will affect every sample. Let's stick with just effects on this individual sample for now. Some delay, some chorus. I'll just dial everything in now so you can get a feel for it. Huh, now it's like really ghosty sounding. And there's also the life parameter, which will add a bit of subtle modulation to every sample. So it's just kind of another way of making the sample your own. But just remember, if I play a different sample now, it will not have those effects. Those effects are living on this sample right here. And just like I showed you earlier, we can export with the effects baked in. You just wanna make sure that on the export page, whatever note your sample lives on, so this is note D1, just set Lander Sampler to D1, drag it out. And now we have the sample with the effects baked into it, which of course you don't have to do. You can still pull out the dry sample. I just think it's nice to, in a single window, be able to add effects and do some sample editing to make the sample more uniquely yours. Now we haven't even talked about the two other ways of working with samples in Lander Sampler, chromatic mode and slicing mode. So when I've got all these individual tonal one shots. Here's one that I like. Let's select it and go into chromatic mode. Now, I can play it chromatically and I can also turn on stretch mode which means the sample won't get shorter as I play higher notes. So now you could simply just play in your melodies or this mode also works with the sequencer. So let me clear out this sequencer in the same way we were working before, we can start writing in a simple melody. Add in some effects like we talked about before. And we've used chromatic mode to generate a melodic loop. Let's jump back to our normal mode for a second. Let's now search for some tonal loops. And if you notice there's gray dots on all of these notes now, gray dots represent loops. So you could have a combination of notes and one shots. Oh, I like this sample. Let's go into chop mode. If I go to the waveform, you can see there's no chops currently, but I can add in some sensitivity and we could chop that way. Or we could do time divisions by quarter note. And don't worry, we do have fade in and fade out. I'm gonna hold shift and increase the fade in and fade out for all the notes. Because just like we were doing with samples in normal mode, each one of these chops can have its own individual effects and individual parameters. So for instance, if I wanted to transpose just this chop, I could do that without affecting another chop. You can also chop a sample into equal parts, and you can also double click and put in your own chops as well. And maybe you already guessed this, but the sequencer works the same exact way, where I can drop individual slices into the sequencer. <laughs> we do need to turn up the length for these samples though. Very jazzy. I wanna point out that there's a mono mode here. So the samples will all cut each other off instead of overlapping. So across these three modes, this is pretty much all of the ways I would like to be working with samples. It's nice to have access to many samples at once. It's nice to be able to play samples chromatically. And of course, it's nice to slice samples up 
and be able to edit them all in all the ways we would usually edit samples. And I think the magic of having all of those modes and all of those ways of working with the samples is valuable because it's all in one place rather than being spread across your DAW or another plugin. It's all in one plugin. But speaking of magic, that's actually my fifth favorite feature. So I've loaded up some more random samples here. I've got this drum loop that sounds good. And I've also got this sort of a chord loop that sounds good as well. Of course, if I just play them at the same time, they're synced up and they sound good. But now if I release that, that melodic sample is always starting over when I trigger it, which is not the worst thing in the world, but let me direct your attention to the magic button. What the magic button does is makes it so all your samples are aligned in time. So if I trigger this melodic harmonic sample here and I want the drums to come in, they're gonna come in on the correct beat. It's not just gonna start the sample from the beginning. So you could hear I was able to play a pickup on the drums there. No matter how many times I tap these, the samples will keep playing through. Listen to it in reverse if I do that with the chord loop. That's a pretty fun technique and could be used in performances. So the lander sampler is much more than just a way to sort your samples or just a way to manipulate your samples. It's kind of a very fun way to audition how samples work with each other. So what do you all think of Lander Sampler? Let me know in the comments down below. To me, this solves a big problem in the production workflow. I do not want to be browsing Ableton Live's browser just scrolling through individual samples anymore, especially since I can just instantly load all these samples up on my keyboard like really quickly now. And I'll also say as somebody who makes sample packs, building loops and editing samples alone in Lander Sampler is kind of way easier than using a bunch of separate tools or even using some of Ableton Live's tools. You can get Lander sampler as a part of Lander Studio with 40 plus other plugins, or you can just buy it outright for a one-time purchase. Check the description down below for more details. Thank you all so much for watching. This has been Tatro. Have a good one.